ప్రస్తుతం ప్రపంచాన్ని పట్టి పీడిస్తున్న అతిపెద్ద సమస్య గుండె జబ్బులు పెద్దవారి అనుకుంటే ఇటీవల కాలంలో యువత కూడా దీని బారిన పడటం ఆందోళన కలిగిస్తుంది ఈ నేపథ్యంలో ముందు జాగ్రత్తలే ఆరోగ్యానికి శ్రీరామ రక్ష అని ప్రఖ్యాత కార్డియో థొరాసిక్ సర్జన్ నారాయణ హెల్త్ ఆసుపత్రుల చైర్మన్ డాక్టర్ దేవిప్రసాద్ శెట్టి అభిప్రాయపడ్డారు పద్దెనిమిది ఏళ్ల వయసులోనే ఆరోగ్య పరీక్షలు చేయించుకోవాలని తద్వారా రాబోయే జబ్బులను ముందుగానే గుర్తించి నివారణ చర్యలు తీసుకోవచ్చని తెలిపారు యువత తమ ఆరోగ్యపరమైన పరిమితులను తెలుసుకుని ఉండాలని ఆయన హితో పలికారు వైద్య ఖర్చులు ఖరీదుగా మారిన నేపథ్యంలో ప్రైవేటు ఆసుపత్రులు సొంతంగా బీమా పాలసీలను తీసుకువస్తే ఆసుపత్రులకు రోగులకు ప్రయోజనకరంగా ఉంటుందని తెలిపారు we are not for our commendable work in the area of pediatric cardiac surgery once you are the only one addressing this with a lot of compassion now a lot of charity has got into this do you think this issue is handled you know, in the country now we produce uh, 24 million babies a year one out of 140 children born anywhere in the world has a heart problem there is a huge need for uh, Uh, heart hospitals and heart specialists dealing with the children's heart problems. There is a desperate need. It is happening. Gradually, it is increasing. More and more children get to be operated in the place where they are born. They don't need to go from one, country, one state to the other state for the care. But for some complex problems, of course, they have to uh, keep uh, traveling. Yes. Sir, do you think India is handling enough now? India requires over 1 million heart operations a year. And India is not doing more than maybe 200,000 heart surgeries a year, 150,000 maybe. Yeah, we, are, we have a long way to go in terms of number of surgeries, what needs to be done. I'm talking about both adult and children. Sir, in the absence of good healthcare facilities in the public sector, and in the context of lack of focus on health sector by the government, do you think of any alternative models for healthcare in the country now, what policy changes needs to be addressed by the government in health sector? Since independence, we have been hearing from all the policy makers that healthcare should be free and it should be funded by the taxpayers' money provided by the government. We philosophically agree that that should be the way. But you look at the reality. We looked at all the countries which are offering free healthcare to the citizens. All these countries are very small countries with a population of uh, you know, a few thousand to few hundred thousand or a million or two million. The moment the population exceeds 20 million, 30 million, they all have a serious problem. Look at England. England is one country where everyone is offered health care for free. Now they are really, really struggling. So only small countries, no large country in the world, including United States of America, which is the richest country in the world, can offer health care to the citizens free of cost with the taxpayers' money. It's not possible. No large country has done, so India cannot do. The second thing common with these countries, these countries not only being small, they have a very high tax to GDP ratio of 25% to 45%. In India, tax to GDP ratio is about 11.5%. So our government controls a small part of the uh, money of the country. So they don't have the resources to spend that kind of money on healthcare. The third problem is these countries which are offering free health care are already spending more than 10% to 18% of the GDP on health care. Our government is spending about 1.2, 1.5%. But we have an option. Our option is we have 1.4 billion people. Health insurance works when there is a large population. Indians cannot afford cost of health care, but they can afford the cost of affordable health insurance. We are in fact the first hospital in India 
to get the license to run a health insurance. Now, we have launched a health insurance program wherein we have offered a coverage for a family of four, father, mother, and two children, up to one crore rupees of coverage for all types of surgeries. And for the medical treatment, they are covered up to five lakh rupees with a premium of 10,000 rupees per year. And we believe that as the number of people who subscribe to this insurance, premium will go down over a period of time. These medical expenses have become the biggest burden on people now. Do you think the skyrocketing medical expenses in private sector are justified? I, I am taking a bet that the cost of healthcare, contrary to everyone's expectation, will go down. But hospitals' revenue will double or triple. How that is going to happen is when the cost of healthcare goes down, more and more people will come to the hospital. And once the hospitals invest on efficiency, if they create a digital platform, once that kind of efficiency comes in, the number of people the hospital can take care of will significantly increase. Sir, after COVID pandemic, cardiac-related deaths among young people increased. What could be the reasons behind it? I know a lot of people are blaming the COVID, a lot of people are blaming the vaccine. I honestly don't think that COVID made the whole country to go for a health screening. Large number of people who never had an ECG got the ECG done. So as they diagnose more patients with the heart problem, after the COVID is over, they started going for healthcare. Yeah. What are the new emerging health issues in India? What are the solutions? Recently, Cardiology Society of India came up with a guideline for preventive uh, uh, healthcare. Their guideline is any Indian child at the age of 18 must go for a blood test to see the lipid profile, that is check the cholesterol level. I strongly believe that every Indian past the age of 18 should know their numbers. When you say I'm a fit person, what is the criteria of you saying you are a fit person? Just because you can run one mile without getting breathless, you are a fit person? No. If you want me to tell you that you are a fit person, I want to see your blood test reports. I want to see your echocardiogram report. I want to see your calcium score. I want to know your number. So the tagline for Indian healthcare today is know your numbers. Sir, given that early age also a lot of child children are uh, prone to cardiac diseases, yeah, an increase. What is the reason? Simple hole in the heart, which is a common problem, it doesn't cause symptoms until it is very late. So most of the children who are born with a heart problem it was not diagnosed because there was no echocardiography available uh, in uh, small city towns. Today, every town has a, somebody doing the echocardiogram. And in the process, a uh, lot of the heart problems are diagnosed at an early stage. This model is suitable to Indian health. This Britain model or American model or any other. Or how to build a uh, <laughs> Indians must adopt a Indian model of delivering healthcare. British model is not suitable for us. American model certainly not suitable for us. Our model should be that every Indian, we know Indians can't afford to pay for the healthcare, but they can pay for the affordable health insurance. So we need to promote health insurance. Also, Essentially, in India, there are about 250 to 300 million families. About 100 million Indian families 
don't need any health insurance. They can manage the healthcare cost by themselves. And remain the another 100 million families generally work in the establishment created by the first 100 million families. And some of them work in their house as maids or a cook or a driver or whatever. If the first 100 million families influence the second 100 million families, like in Singapore and in few Asian countries, even in US, there is something called a uh, health saving account. We are trying to get the, our government also to launch the health saving account. 